Hi you guys, welcome back to my channel. I am going to do a DIY for you guys today. I'm doing a DIY on a candle holder. This here I did right before I started. I didn't want the video to be very long. So this here is a two-tier candle holder. I got this item from the dollar store. And this is two candle holders here with a jar that looks like this. You can purchase from the dollar store. Um, it also has the silver bling on there. I purchased this from Walmart. You can find it in the craft section. And what I did was took us, I measured around the top and split it in half to get half the size that I needed. And I already have it pre-cut here. So I put two pieces together because I was going to make it thin and then I thought it was too thin. So I went and cut another piece to make it thick. So actually you only probably need to cut it once instead of twice. Also, I am about to, I have the two-tier candle holder, so now I need a three-tier. So that's what I'm going to show you guys today, me doing the three-tier candle holder. So you're going to need three of these dollar store candle holders. I have three here. You're going to need some hot glue, so a hot glue gun. Like I mentioned earlier, your bling and your jar or candle holder. You also will need um, some E6000 glue that I believe you can purchase from Walmart. However, I don't have any right now, but I do have um, <clears throat> some of this fix all adhesive that you can purchase from a dollar store. And it's a lot like the E3000, I mean E6000. I don't think it's as strong as the E6000, but yet it is still strong. So that's, those are items that you will need. And of course, scissors to cut the bling. Okay, you guys. So let's get started. I hope everyone has been having a wonderful day so far. My morning has been very busy with the little ones at home okay after you clean these jars and dry them you're gonna take I mean not jars I'm sorry um, candle holders and dry them you're gonna put some of this glue right around the rim of this candle holder like so squeeze it all around and sit that down and see I can show you a little bit about it. I'm going to put that all around. And you want to give it a few seconds to get tacky. So we're going to take this one and put it upside down on there like so. I'm going to put just a little bit on this side as well. I hope you guys could see that. I hope you guys could see what I'm doing. I'm working with my phone this morning. It's not the best, so I apologize. But that's what I have to work with right now. So let's set that down. Oof. I got some on my fingers. Okay, so I want that to I say get tacky for a few minutes. You want it to get tacky because it seems to adhere to each side a little better if you wait to let it get a little tacky, meaning sticky. Like it has gotten on my finger. <laughs> so yeah, okay. 
So we need this one upright and we need this one upside down and try to match up the sides. So just place it like so onto the other candle holder. Just like that. Now I see that on one side I may have applied a little too much glue because I had a little ooze. And let's see if I have something I can use to wipe the excess off. I don't think I do. Give me one second. One second, please. Guys, right, so I'm back. I had to stop the filming to run and get a sponge. So you want a little damp sponge to try to if you have an excess glue oozing out, try to wipe that off with a damp sponge or cloth before it dries. Just try to wipe that off like so. Okay, so then you want to let that sit there. Clean that up a little bit. Okay, while that's drying, the next thing we will do is put glue on this top portion of this candle holder. What, what, what is the bottom, but now the top of this candle holder? We'll put glue around the rim and glue around the bottom portion of this one because we're going to take this one and sit it up. On this one like so okay and these things don't always match up very well or do the best you can to match it up I mean you may even have to try to match them in the store before you actually purchase them just to see you know if they'll sit correctly on top of each other because some of them don't and I think I may run into that problem with this one because I forgot to match them up in the store. I just grabbed a bunch of these little candle holders while I was there because they are so hard to find. They, it's like everyone is doing DIYs with these candle holders. So anyhow, these also make perfect gift, you guys. Christmas is coming up. And what better way to give a gift that shows that you really care. A DIY gift always shows you put thought into it. Time and effort and labor of love. You know, wonderful gifts. I love DIY gifts. I love receiving them. And I love giving them. Okay. So, is that a sticky? Got that one on there. A little up here. You can also use hot glue, guys, with um, this, but it would not be permanent. The hot glue uh, runs the risk of still coming off. So. I would recommend using a hot glue gun to, especially for the three tier one. Maybe if you're using a one tier and you only need it for one event or something like that. But yeah. Okay. And let's see that on top of there. Like so. Like I mentioned before, if you have a little ooze out, it's fine. Just get you a sponge or a damp cloth and just wipe away the excess before it dries. Very simple. Very fixable. So don't panic if you see a little bit of ooze out. And like I said, this one is kind of off a little bit just a little bit but I think that's about as straight as I'm able to get that one so we're gonna let that sit there and dry you actually need to let these things sit and dry for 24 hours before you use them anyway 24 to 48 hours before you actually use them do you guys hear my baby in the background she's coming down the stairs her and the little kitty cat 
She's talking to our little kitty cat. We just recently got a new little kitty. Kitty, kitty, kitty. Her name is Sky, the little kitten. And um, she's a mixed breed, I believe. I'm not exactly sure, but she's gorgeous. She's gorgeous. She's very playful. And so is my daughter. So they're having a ball right now. So that is what you guys are hearing in the background. <laughs> in case you're wondering. Okay, so we have this. And I'm going to have to move my camera in order to show you this next. Let's see. Maybe I won't have to move it. So we have this top piece here. We're going to put glue around this top piece. And then you will sit it in the center of this. Like that. Okay? So that's our next step that we would do. Put glue on the rim of this. And then find your center on the bottom of the glass. And press it like so. And then it will look like this. Okay? And actually, before I do that next, that next step, let's go ahead and put the bling on here. So we don't have to worry about really maneuvering that stand, that um, candle holder stand, while it's trying to dry so much. So let's, let's do that. I think that would be a smart step to take. So you would need your bling strips. If you did like I did, if you have this width, is a one and a half inch by two yard inch. If you take one and a half inch and cut it in half, meaning, let's see, I got some over here. If you take it and you split it in half, you should come up with a piece that is as thick as these two together. Like that. Hold on, sorry. It should be about that thick once you cut that in half. Okay, but I had cut mine twice because I thought one um, single piece, look at the sparkle guys, look at that, oh so pretty, but um, I thought the one piece would be enough, but it looked a little lackluster for me, see, this wasn't enough, so I cut another piece, and I figured that it would look good, doubled up on there, a lot more impact. So, let's do that. And we can use our hot glue gun for this. Okay? So, you just want to get your hot glue gun and just start putting a little bit. And be careful, guys, because hot glue burns. I don't have a high temperature hot glue gun. That one right there is just, um, it's hot enough, I tell you, one thing to burn you. But I don't know if I would consider it high temperature. So, do you want to put a little glue on your bling string? On your bling string and just wrap it around the glass. If you want to, you can make little spots along the glass like that. If that's easier for you. And then just wrap your bling string. Let's see how that goes. I didn't try this one on the other one, so let's see how that how that is. Woo, mamas. I got burnt, you guys. Did you see that? Yep, burnt right on my finger. Try to play it off for you guys, but yep, see? See that? Let me see. Where we at? Right there. See that hot glue? I burned my darn finger off. Here I am trying to warn y'all, and here I am burning my own darn finger. Okay. So, let's see. Be careful, guys. I'm just going to do it on a string. I'm just going to go down the string a little like this. A little bit at a time. Do it kind of in sections. And then place it on the glass. Like that. Can you see that? Like that. Okay. Let's try this again. I got burnt. Now I'm a little. <laughs> I'm moving a little nervously. 
ain't moving as fast as I was. Okay, so it's got glue on it. I'm just going to wrap it around like so. Trying to keep it as even straight as possible. And if you know you don't get it straight, the, th the good thing about hot glue and um, glass is it's not permanent as you would think. So once it gets hardened, it can pop off. So if you make a mistake and it's really creaking and you want to start over, you can pull it up once it's hard, once it's dried completely. You can pull it up, take it off. Pull off the um, hard pieces of glue off the back of the string bling and um, bling string <laughs> and just start it over, you know. So it is very forgiving. So I put some glue on there. And then just wrap it around like so. I need to put some on the end to close it off just a little bit. Let's see. Just a little bit. Okay. So I just closed it off right there. You guys are able to see this. I gotta get it to see. So what I need to do now is put my other, I mean if you guys like just that amount, just that little bit of um, string, then that is fine. You know, you could just do that, you could do it as thin or as thick as you want. How about that? Make it as thin or as thick as you want. You may want to cover your whole container in bling and that is fine. Honey. I love bling so I may even try that another time to do a whole container full of bling. But right now I'm just going to do a little bit. Because I'm actually trying to make this set to go with some other items that I'm going to make in a minute. That's going to also have bling. I just don't want to overdo it. So then I'm going to take the second piece and I'm going to glue it right there underneath that piece. So I can have it as thick as that. I'm going to put it up a little closer. Yep. Like so. Okay. So I'm just going to repeat that process. And I'm going to pause the camera while I put the second one on so you guys don't have to watch it all over again. All right. Did you see that, guys? You know why that happened? Because it wasn't dry. It wasn't dried all the way, but that's okay. Okay. So let me put that back. There we go. All right, that's done. Now all we gotta do is place this top, find the center, You can find the center. Okay, and don't make a boo-boo like I did, you guys. Be careful because these things are still drying. The glue is still drying. And it still can slide. Like, mine's just did, but it's fixable because it's still drying. So just set it back in place. Like that. And, um, try to let it sit for 24 to 48 hours to dry and that is it you have your two let's see two I'm putting on this side blinged out candle holders two blinged out candle holders okay you guys I hope you enjoyed this little simple DIY